If you're someone who is in meetings or lectures a lot of times and you want everything written down like meeting minutes or notes, this is the perfect app. It's called Live Transcribe and it picks up content, whatever is being spoken and converts it into text. You can then copy it and paste it and you know, it pauses itself, it resumes itself depending on when is something being spoken or when it's not. Also, it detects if there's any wind or any noise around you, it'll detect and let you know. Now, all of this text is obviously uh, something that you can copy and then paste. You can change the font size and there are a couple of more settings that you can explore. And bonus tip, it timestamps everything. So that's just great. The next app is called NetGuard and it's a pretty simple tool. What it lets you do is enable or disable internet access for any and all apps that you have. So whether it's you know via Wi-Fi or through your mobile data and you can just restrict access to that. It's pretty simple, you just have to you know quickly toggle. Now I know this functionality is available on your phone natively, but it's just so difficult to get to specific apps and do it. The third app in the list and probably my favorite in this entire video is Moobird. The app generates music using AI and some user contributed samples. And I have to say it does a pretty damn good job. You can select the genre and it will start streaming music. There are quite a few good ones and you can also choose by activity. So depending on what you're in the mood for, you can select. And then there are some special streaming channels that you could explore. They're, they're pretty good too. And I've been listening to it nonstop while I'm, I've been making this video and I've been editing the entire piece. There are also some kick-ass visualizations. So that's for relax. This is for, let's say, techno. And then there's something for chill, which is a little bit more calm. And then that's groove. And yeah, that's deep. So you can, you know, it's a pretty enjoyable app. And it's great for productivity and doing focus work, especially for me. Now, there are some personalizations. If you like a music, hit like. Of course, you're going to have to sign up so it can remember your preferences. And the AI will then start generating music for you based on what you like. Now, this is seven days free app, but it's worth every penny. So just go for it. I know I am. Next is Firefox Send. And it's a pretty simple app. You know, if you've got a bunch of files that you want to send to someone, you just have to select them. Uh, so you add it to a list and then you hit upload. That's it. You can set how many times uh, those files can be downloaded or you can set an expiration date, you know, that one day or two days or seven days and so on. And you can encrypt it as well. Now, if you sign up, you can get up to 2.5 gigs to be able to send with, uh, you know, links being active for seven days. Now imagine with just one click, your phone totally goes into a distraction free mode and you get no distractions. You're completely focused on your work and it still keeps track of everything that's happening on your phone, all notifications in one place for you to view. It's called off time. And as the name suggests, it means you can set how long you want to be off time or offline for. So you're just focused on whatever you have to. And the app does give you all kinds of exceptions that you want to create. So, you know, you can block calls and messages too, or maybe not for important people. Notifications from certain apps uh, or restrict them. Right. Uh, you can also automate. So, you know, if you want to sync it to your calendar, but that's a paid feature. And you can also create more profiles depending on what you want to activate off time for. Coming to the next one is an icon pack that I'm currently using on my phone. I I'm using the Galaxy Note 10 as my daily driver, and that's the icon pack. And it's really good looking. So it's basically got about 3000 app icons. And they are just gorgeous. I mean, they look so good on a dark background, especially. They just, and the colors are really good. Of course, if you have an AMOLED display, it's even better. But for most apps, it has multi colors. So depending upon the wallpaper, you can set an app icon. And coming to the last one, I've been using Flipboard and Medium and Google to you know, stay up to date with information, articles and content that's relevant for me, uh, depending upon what I want to read. But that's just too much. And Refind is a new app that I've found, which basically gives me just 10 featured stories from the genres that I have selected or from topics that I'm interested in. And those 10 are actually handpicked, you know, depending upon uh, how popular they've been on the web. So of course you can read it on the website or you could just read it within the app. So that's pretty good. You can obviously set the font size, the background color and all of those things. You can also add it to your collection. So if there's an article that you feel you need to keep, 
you can do that as well. And you can set how many content pieces you want and at what time should they be served to you. So you've got that flexibility within the app. You can obviously tailor your topics. So you can choose what categories uh, of information or articles you want. And yeah, choose as many as you like, but then don't limit it to 10 because that sort of will defeat the purpose. Anyway, guys, so those were the top seven apps for the month of November 2019. Hope you guys really enjoyed. If you've got any suggestions for the December apps, feel free to comment them in the comment section below. Again, thank you for watching, guys. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that like button.